Happy Thursday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's time for yet another tropical update. We are getting closer and closer to the end of our 2023 hurricane season, but we are not there yet. And we actually have a system in the Caribbean that has a very high chance now of becoming our next tropical cyclone. So let me show you exactly what's going on. Good news is that it is not going to push into the Gulf and head our way, but maybe you have some holiday vacation travel plans over towards Jamaica. Jamaica, eastern parts of Cuba, Haiti, maybe even the southeastern Bahamas, you may have some impacts from this system. This is an area to watch in the West Central Caribbean. This is a potential tropical cyclone, and it now has the name Potential Tropical Cyclone number 22. The hurricane hunters did fly into this. They saw that it is slowly getting more organized, and it looks like it will likely become a tropical storm over the next day or two. As we check it out, it still doesn't look super organized as we look at the satellite, but we do see the clusters of showers and storms. There's a broad area of low pressure and it likely will tighten up and become more well defined as we go into the next day or so. And that is likely when it will gain that tropical storm status. And of course, the name would be Vincent since that is the next name on the list. At this point, though, it is being called, as I mentioned, potential tropical cyclone number 22 with a 70% high chance that it will be our next tropical system over the next 48 hours and a 70% high chance that it will be a tropical system over the next seven days. General movement, the track off to the north and east. So that's going to take it right over Jamaica and that is going to mean some very heavy rain, the potential for some mudslides for parts of these Caribbean islands. And overall, that flood threat will remain on the high side with this system. So here is the official forecast for our new potential tropical cyclone number 22. Right now, maximum sustained winds are around 35 miles per hour. Movement is to the North Northeast at nine miles per hour and pressure currently at 1004 millibars. So that North Northeast movement likely takes it right over Jamaica. Notice for tomorrow, right around lunchtime on Friday, it likely will strengthen into a tropical storm. It's going to be a fairly weak, minimal tropical storm at 40 miles per hour, but still a tropical storm. So we likely have tropical storm Vincent by tomorrow. Then it strikes Jamaica, bringing a lot of heavy rain, some of those big waves and the threat for some tropical storm force winds, likely pushing over eastern portions of Cuba Friday evening and Friday night through early Saturday and clipping the southeastern portion of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos as we go through Saturday. Also, part Parts of Haiti being impacted. We've got tropical storm watches out for all of these areas, including Jamaica, Haiti, eastern Cuba, Turks and Caicos, and the southeastern Bahamas. So there could be some bigger impacts with what will likely become tropical storm events over the next 24 hours. Let me take you out a little bit further in this timeline for Sunday. It will start to push out into the southwestern Atlantic. So it will be moving away from some of those Caribbean islands, but it will get fairly close to Bermuda likely late Sunday into Monday. So some impacts may be felt across parts of Bermuda. And then by Monday noontime, it will be moving away from Bermuda, away from the U.S. East Coast and getting up there closer to Canada, but should stay off to the east of Canada. So we will have to deal with what will likely become Tropical Storm Vincent, at least those Caribbean islands over the next two, three days. And the biggest threat with that will will be some flooding from all of that heavy rain. Here is the other system that we were monitoring for tropical development. This little area of low pressure rolled just south of Miami yesterday, last night through early this morning, dumped a ton of rain, seven, eight, nine inches of rain reported for parts of South Florida. So that made a big flood threat for those areas. But the good news with this system is that it is right along a frontal boundary. So it is a non-tropical low right now and the chance for it to develop into a tropical low all the way down to near 0% over the next two days and near 0% over the next seven days. But regardless of whether it's tropical or non-tropical, it's still going to dump a lot of rain for portions of Florida, especially right along that Florida East Coast, a big portion of the Florida 
Panhandle and Florida Peninsula getting some rain and also getting some rain up into parts of the Carolinas as well. I think northwestern parts of the Bahamas will get in on rain from this system. Southeastern parts of the Bahamas likely will get rain from what will become tropical storm vents for tomorrow. So active messy weather for this part of the country, but still quiet across the Gulf, at least our way. We do have a little area of low pressure in the central Gulf, but it is not tropical. Temperatures are helping us out in the Gulf. We've got that water finally starting to cool off, so that makes it harder for these tropical systems to develop and to persist. But notice in the Caribbean, we've still got those water temps in the low to middle 80s, so that's why we're fairly confident that potential tropical cyclone number 22 will likely become Tropical Storm Vincent by tomorrow. So we've got around two weeks or a little less of a hurricane season left, so overall, the chance of us having several more systems is low, but as you can see with this potential tropical cyclone, it's not out of the question. So I think we'll be able to put a green check mark by vents, likely by tomorrow, if not earlier, with that system getting a little stronger over the next 24 hours. Then we'll just be left with one more name on the list for this hurricane season, and that will be Whitney. Hopefully we won't have to use it, but it's there just in case we need to. So at this point, still 20 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes, but I think by this time tomorrow, we're gonna increase that number of named storms to 21, and that will put us even more above the norm for those numbers of named storms for this hurricane season. So even though we're nearing the end, it's still fairly busy out there in the Caribbean, and we've got a little action as well in the southwestern Atlantic with that low near Miami, but like I said, I don't expect that one to turn into a tropical system. Regardless, keep checking back. We'll be doing these updates every afternoon all the way up until the end of hurricane season, which is the end of this month. You can also keep track of what's happening in the tropics by downloading our Fox 26 weather app. Well, that will do it for today. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade.